A new report has emerged saying that Toyota was shocked when they developed the BZ3. It's the electric Toyota Corolla sedan in China. Now, this was a joint venture between Toyota and BYD. And apparently, Toyota thought, well, they said things like this. BYD's battery technology, yeah, it's, it's not bad, but we're going to make much better batteries. We don't think they're good enough. But their views and opinions changed completely after working with BYD. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. So far this year, Toyota has admitted that in many ways it is behind Tesla and BYD when it comes to manufacturing. There's been numerous books, articles, magazine pieces, um, fans of Toyota, and even not even fans of Toyota who have praised Toyota's manufacturing ability in the past. This began in about the mid 80s. And ever since then, Toyota has been considered the gold standard when it comes to manufacturing efficiency. But suddenly this year, the world was given a wake up call when Toyota admitted to the fact that it was way behind its competitors. It tore apart a Tesla Model Y and said it was engineering genius. It worked with BYD. And this is what they said. For the first time, I came face to face with the competitiveness of Chinese components. In China, they were not simply learning and applying technologies, but also rapidly transforming manufacturing. Laying eyes on equipment that I had never seen in Japan and their state-of-the-art manufacturing, I was struck by a sense of crisis. We're in trouble. At the same time, I began to think that I would like to spend the rest of my career in China. Now, this was from an interview with Toyota's electric vehicle factory president. In other words, he's basically the president of Toyota's electric vehicle manufacturing arm. And he has basically said that Toyota is way behind when it comes to EV manufacturing techniques and processes. It wasn't long after this that Toyota actually ordered the gigacasting, massive gigacasting machines to use for EVs. And it then even spruced these machines, which obviously Tesla has brought to the market, saying that they would revolutionize manufacturing, turning 88 parts and three hours of work into about two minutes, reducing 88 components down to one single component, which was stronger, more rigid, lighter and simply better. Now, the Volkswagen group say that gigacasting is not good. Uh, France is trying to ban gigacasting. And ultimately, that's because it's a threat. New technology, a better way of doing things. They didn't do it. And now it's a threat. You've got to say, right, in light of Toyota's admissions now that Tesla and BYD are well ahead of it, that actually gives them an advantage. I mean, I'm often very critical of Toyota, but if you can accept that you're behind and then say to yourself, how do we change? How do we adapt our processes to improve like our competition have done? What are they doing better than us? We need to do that. That's what Toyota is doing here. This admission, this very public admission here is the first step for Toyota to really do something good. I think this is a smart move. Now, Toyota said its first realization about just how far Chinese EV companies, in particular BYD, were ahead, came when Toyota started collaborating with BYD for the Chinese BZ3 sedan, which is based on the Japanese manufacturer's ETNGA platform, but it uses BYD's blade batteries, BYD's motors, BYD's um, motor control software, uh, BYD's, mo it's mostly, it's mostly a BYD, to be honest. It's not selling very well, by the way. Neither is the Toyota BZ4X, Toyota BZ3X. They're the two EVs that Toyota were hoping would sell well in China, but they're simply not. And they've been discounted to being very, very cheap. In fact, the BZ3X is approximately $20,000 new EV, which rivals the Tesla Model 3. So is the BZ4X at many retailers all throughout China, but they're not selling. The problem here is perception. Chinese now perceive that Chinese EVs and I believe Tesla EVs are ahead of 
Western automakers when it comes to electric cars. As Cato says, the development of the electric sedan was marked by constant change. A particularly eye-opening experience came five months after the vehicle's height and wheelbase were modified, which is a huge change. The overall height was lowered by 25 millimeters or about one inch. So the underbody had to be entirely redone. In Japan, that would have brought the entire development to a standstill, said Toyota's EV chief. Regardless, everyone agreed on the change because we were committed to putting out a product that would make customers happy. Deep down, it seemed like a complete write-off, but we had to go for it. And so I think what really surprised Toyota's chief here was the fact that BYD were able to make this change so incredibly quickly. This would take uh, big Western automakers maybe a year, but BYD were able to make this happen within a very, very short space of time. That's the thing that European automakers have pointed out about the advantage Chinese automakers have. Their speed to be able to pivot, to change how they do things. Now, why why were why did Toyota feel like they needed to lower the new BZ3 electric sedan? Because the range wasn't long enough. Toyota keeps saying their magical batteries will solve all their range issues and be able to bring incredibly fast charging and just miracle technology, which we haven't seen any proof that that's actually really gonna happen. So rather than hold out for that miracle proof, Toyota said, well, let's lower the car. That would actually increase the range. However, like he said here, that would normally take a lot of work. BYD said, no, it's something we can get done really quickly. While testing the BZ3, Kato himself was summoned for an interview with Akio Toyota, who is now the head of Toyota, and Koji Sado, the company's CEO. During the meeting, he was asked to return to Japan and take the helm of the Vehicle Development Center, which handles everything from planning to mass production development. Fast forward to July 2023, and Toyota is holding its annual general shareholders meeting in Tokyo. Here, Kato said this, I love electric cars. That was not lip service, he said. I mean every word. Electric vehicles have unique qualities and driving performance only found in EVs. Now, right after about that time that comment was made, Toyota have made numerous comments saying EVs uh, are not really suitable for a lot of people. They have a lot of flaws. One of them is they lack passion. So Toyota have been working on making a pseudo manual transmission. They now have it. They've spent millions of dollars developing this manual transmission with the clutch as well. Now, it's just a simulation. It doesn't do anything real. It just makes it feel like it's doing something real. It simulates the feeling of an internal combustion engine vehicle. My perception of that is that Toyota is sort of sitting on the fence, hoping to appease two sides. They're worried that a lot of people just don't want an EV. So they're trying to give them the best of both worlds, the feeling of an internal combustion car in an electric car. I don't believe that's a winning strategy. I think Toyota need to give up on the gimmicks, focus on the product, give up on miracle batteries that never will, really, probably will never eventuate, at least not this decade, considering they've been promising them since 2012, and focus on the real hard work. Do what Kia and Hyundai are doing, make lithium ion phosphate batteries. Do what Tesla is doing, adopt manufacturing technologies that improve your efficiency, not just giga casting, structural battery packs. Take it a step bigger, mega casting, improve your product efficiency. Clearly Toyota has become complacent and complacency has meant that it's lost its lead. Yeah, sure, it still sells the most cars in the world, but we said similar things about BlackBerry, Kodak and Nokia right before, well, you know the rest of the story. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching.